Meteorologist Leah Bazzetti is here now to remind us that it really is April, despite the weather that we had uh, the last 24 hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. April showers are hopefully going to bring flowers still in April. Because, yeah, Tulip Festival, <laughs> I'm told, is not tuliping yet. Uh, it's uh, still a little too early. It's just been so darn cold. And these colder temperatures are sticking around. We will see a little bit of a break from the widespread rain tomorrow and then into Wednesday. But we do still hold on to the potential for a few spotty showers. Stronger rain chances will become more widespread Thursday and into the weekend as well. And these pesky cooler temperatures will remain below average for a few more days, but then we will see some warming into this upcoming weekend. 48 degrees is all we saw today at SeaTac. Normal for this time of year. Remember, 57 degrees, so just about 10 degrees cooler than where we typically are for this time of year. Right now, sitting at 41 degrees at SeaTac, and we are going to cool down nicely into our overnight hours, hovering just above freezing in those early morning hours. And these cooler temperatures right around that freezing mark mixed with some lingering moisture could mean we could mix in a few snowflakes into tomorrow morning, similar to what we saw this morning. And we see that lingering moisture on our satellite and radar right now. A little bit of light rain up to the north right now, and then we do have a little pocket of some light rain and some snow over into our southern Cascades. But so far, rainfall totals have been pretty minimal, most of us just in the hundredths. So it was just those spotty light showers. And into tomorrow, we could still see a few spotty light showers, but for the most part, we're going to be drying out. This will be a little bit of a break for us. Temperatures will stay cool, though. 57, remember, is normal, but into tomorrow, we're barely going to hit that 50 degree mark, adding a degree or two. But overall, we are going to stay below average once again. Into tomorrow morning, a couple lingering showers along the coast and then possibly around Puget Sound as well. And that timing of it in those early morning hours could mean a few snowflakes mixing in, uh, but not looking at a accumulations, especially not like what we saw uh, this morning into tomorrow afternoon. Same thing, a couple spotty showers here and there, especially over the Olympic Peninsula, but most of us will stay dry into tomorrow. Come Wednesday morning, we see a push for rain, but really through Wednesday, all that's going to do is impact the Olympic Peninsula and then into South Sound. It won't become more widespread across Puget Sound until Thursday morning, but then we'll hang on to rain into the forecast through most of the day Thursday. That's also when we're going to see temperatures warming up. Look at this Wednesday into Thursday. We're still in those low 50s by Friday, mid 50s with those showers lingering into our Easter weekend. That's when temperatures uh, do warm up back to above average temperatures. So we will see those low 60s as we head into Easter weekend.